So we're here to support parents, whether they be male or female. We're some father or mother. We're here to support parents in their battle to gain equal rights with their children. Rights that are supposed to be guaranteed by the Constitution, which this state, Louisiana, and all other 49 states ignore. And divorce court judges every day violate the Constitution by stripping rights away from one parent or the other and making another set of children second class and have making that set of children live without both parents equally in their, in their lives. They strip the ability of that child to learn from both of their parents equally, to learn their moral values, their civic values, their religious values, their First Amendment rights to receive this education directly from each of their parents equally. They lose this right because of the whim of a judge, because some divorce court judge likes his power or her power of being able to say, you get the child and you don't. Based on what? Based on that judge's opinion of the child's best interest. And this, is, this judge is making an opinion when the Supreme Court has clearly said that, that family law judges may not substitute their opinion for a child's best interest for that of a fit parent. Right? The Supreme Court has said this very clearly in almost those exact words. And yet divorce court judges say, hey, that doesn't apply to us. We're above the Constitution. We don't have to comply. We're special. And they believe that way because they've been given near absolute power, again, by legislators like these legislators that work right here in this building. They've been given this near absolute power for hundreds of years. And so, as with any other group of people who get near absolute power, they are nearly absolutely corrupt. When you first went through this, Delvic, were you told that you had any rights? Not at all. Did you have a lawyer? They both suffered. Did they use a lot of money? $5,000 a piece. Was there ever at any time that anyone told you that you had rights? No. You cannot create two unequal classes of parents or two unequal classes of children based on nothing more than the marital status of the parents. They did this for hundreds of years. So they do this based on nothing more than a change in your marital status. And as we've said, the United States Supreme Court said this is unacceptable. For hundreds of years, we had this regime here and in Europe and in England. They had this regime where bastard children, children born out of wedlock, were second class children. And that was okay for hundreds of years. But it's not okay under our Constitution. It's not okay under equal protection. And yet we live this every day in divorce based on nothing more than the change in your marital status. Your children are created as second-class citizens who do not get the right to have both parents in their lives equally. The children of married parents get to have their children. Their children get to have both parents in their lives equally. And then so they have full rights. But the minute you file for divorce or divorce is filed against you, your children lose their status as equal children in this country. They are deprived of one parent or the, or the other on, for no basis whatsoever. When you first started this, were you having any trouble with the relationship with your children? Well, at first, you know, my kids and I, we had such a lovely bond. It wouldn't be, couldn't be no place where we was if they see me, they'll just break free and just run to the line. But now, since they're older, it's like, we are just totally strangers. I have no bond with them. Do you think the courts helped encourage that? Yeah, the courts helped encourage it. And also, it separates our kids just by a piece of paper. Because, to me, it's just a money thing. They do not care about those kids. They do not care about the well-being or nothing. Have you or someone you love been separated from your child unjustly? Do you feel that family courts are unfair and biased in their wrong thinking? Should fit parents be denied equal access to their children just because the other parent wants the upper hand? He didn't even want me to have standard visitation. I ended up having to fire my attorney because I couldn't afford to keep paying him, so I had to end up settling. I was forced to, to let the father be the domiciliary parent because he had an attorney. I didn't. I ran out of money. This has to stop. I chose to terminate my marriage for personal reasons that I won't go into. But I can tell you this. I never once chose to terminate or limit my access 
to my twins. What about my rights to equal access to my children? What about my children's rights to have both parents in their lives equally? Did you ever ask them if you could have equal time with your children? Yes, I did. Who, who did you ask if you could have your kids equal time? The lawyer? Really, my lawyer. I discussed what did, with what did they say to you the first time you asked? Do you remember? Um, he told me, he said, well, I can have equal time with them. Um, I can on I um, Fridays from 6 to Sundays to 6. So that was their idea of equal time? Yeah. So from the very beginning, all the motions, the pleadings, everything that went in front of the judge never asked for you to be an equal parent. No. Ever. So you paid the attorneys to ask for visitation for you. Paid for Does that sound like what's in the children's best interest? Only parents know what's in their children's best interest. Not attorneys, not gals, and certainly not biased judges who abuse their power. I went through almost two years of fighting for equal custody. Everyone in the courtroom knew I wanted equal custody. I knew that something was very wrong with the family court system when my former wife's attorney demanded that I tell her why I should be allowed to be granted equal custody, as if that was hers to grant. Citizens of Florida, it's time to wake up. Wake up and see the truth of what is happening. This will affect you at some point in your life, whether it's you, a brother, a sister, a daughter, a son, or just a friend. I'm not a visitor, I'm a loving father, and yet the family court calls me a visitor. Right, this, this old saying, that with absolute com power comes absolute corruption, is evident in our divorce courts every day. And it needs to stop, and it needs to stop now. Thank you.